What's up guys, it's Chloe. Thank you for coming back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. Thank you for watching. And Maisie says hello and thank you for watching too. Say hi. You wanna tell them why we're here? So if you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I love cropped sweatshirts. I wear cropped sweatshirts to the gym like at least three times a week. So one of my most frequently asked questions on Instagram, please don't, on Instagram, please don't, is where do you get your cropped sweatshirts from? And if there's anything that you guys should know about me, it should be that I'm a cheapskate. I only shop if I have a coupon or there's a deal going on and I very, very, very rarely pay full price for something. So to answer all of the questions I get about it, I make my crop sweatshirts myself. And it is not only way cheaper, but I think it actually looks better than buying pre-cropped ones from the store. So this video, I'm going to show you how I make my crop sweatshirts so that you guys can make them at home just like I do. So basically for this video, I'm gonna be turning this sweatshirt into a crop sweatshirt like this one. So yeah, if you wanna learn how to make super cute, super cozy crop sweatshirts, either for the gym, like I wear them, or you can honestly just wear them throughout the day because I know that I prefer cropped things over full length things anyway, so I wear these with jeans and leggings and I wear them all the time. So to make this, all you need is a sweatshirt and a pair of skizzas. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so when I make my crop sweatshirts, I always use the same brand of sweatshirt because it always turns out the best to me and it like doesn't shrink in the wash. So, oh my God. So the brand I always use and that I would definitely suggest is Gildan. So I usually, when I'm home in Iowa, Maisie. So I actually used to live in Iowa and I moved to Colorado after college, but when I'm home in Iowa, I just go to Farm and Fleet and they literally have these sweatshirts for $9.99. So I stock up when I'm in Iowa, but if I want a new one and I'm in Colorado and won't be going home for a while, then I order them on Amazon. So I got this one on Amazon, but here's the problem with Amazon. They're always out of stock for some reason. So they're a little bit more expensive. I think this was 14, which is still pretty cheap, but like every single color is out of stock. So you have to order it and then usually like wait a week or two for it to get back in stock and then it'll ship to you. So I think this took like a week and a half to get to me, but it's worth the wait. So definitely suggest this brand. And then here's the secret to making a crop sweatshirt that looks cute and trendy. Get a sweatshirt that is two sizes bigger than your normal size. So I normally wear small in everything and I get larges in these sweatshirts. And the reason is because like the oversized look is way cuter. I just like the oversized look way better because then the sleeves are like baggier, but they're still tight at your wrist, so it's not like too big. And then it's more flowy, which makes your waist look smaller. So that is the key. Gildan sweatshirts, two sizes bigger than your normal size. And then once you have your sweatshirt, grab a pair of scissors and let's start cutting. And that is literally it. That's all I do to make my crop sweatshirts. 
I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you never miss one of my videos. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate you guys so much, and I love you all. So I will see you next time.